Hey busy bees, do you ever get overwhelmed by all of the different varieties of wine out there and what to pair them with? Well, in today's Thursday, we're gonna go over three basic wine and cheese pairings to make your holiday party a memorable and Instagram worthy elegant affair. I'm Zung and Thursdays are weekly drink ideas and inspiration videos. So be sure to hit subscribe and don't forget to hit your notification button to see next week's episode. If you guys want more than just drinks, I have recipes for busy bees on Sundays and I cover mom topics on mom days coming soon. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with our basic wine and cheese pairings. I'm gonna start with Chardonnay. This is a white wine and it tends to be buttery, oaky, or there's also lighter, um, more fruity varieties. But for a basic Chardonnay, you can pair it with soft and semi-soft cheeses like a washed rind brie here, which tends to be a little more stinky. This one is good because it has like truffles and mushrooms in there, my favorite. And then blue cheeses are also great too. By the way, I got all of my cheese and wines from Trader Joe's. So before serving any white wines, make sure you chill it in the fridge about like an hour before, just so it's crisp and cold. Now moving on to our red wines. Here I have a classic, which is a Louis Martini. This is like the father, grandfather of all wines, but Cabernet Sauvignon tends to be a dry red wine with more body and boldness. So it pairs really well with semi-soft cheeses like Gouda or cheddar, or even meats and charcuterie, which I have right here. So for red wines, you want a bigger glass with kind of like a deeper bowl so it has time to breathe and aerate. So I talked about the cheeses that go well with red wines, but some cheeses to avoid with red wine include young goat cheese because it has like a high acidity and it tends to make the red wine just taste very weird. Um, creamy, soft, ripened cheese, kind of like brie. It tends to bring out more of the bitter notes of the red wine. Hard cheeses such as Parmesan Reggiano is too salty, so you kind of lose that body and flavor of the red wine. And finally, blue cheeses do not go with red wine because it tends to make the wine um, bitter and metallic. So those are cheeses to avoid. Finally, the last one, which is my favorite, a crisp and light rosé. This one is actually my favorite. I found it a few years ago um, during a 4th of July party and my friend told me it was from Trader Joe's and it was $5. It's crisp, not too sweet, it's light, it's so delicious. Rosés tend to pair really well with semi-hard cheeses like Gruyere, uh, goat cheese. Here I have an Iberico, a Spanish Iberico cheese that I tend to like with it. It's a little bit um, salty and mild and even fruit like persimmons, strawberries, watermelon. It's kind of like an all year round wine. I guess all of these are, but I just love rosés. As Lisa Vanderpump would say, life isn't all diamonds and rosé, but it should be. And what do you guys think of the spread? I always make it nice. <laughs> you guys, I've been watching a little too much Real Housewives. Joking aside, I would love to know what you guys thought of these tips and what wine pairings you would serve at your party. I am a big lover of cheeses, so I think all of these go great together, these columns. I kind of divided it that way for you to kind of understand. I would love to know what you guys plan to serve at your holiday party, or you can even bring this to a holiday party that you're invited to. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on Sunday for recipes for Busy Bees. I'm gonna be making some delicious and easy desserts, so be sure to tune in. I'll see you guys Sunday. Bye!